Good morning, ICF Family, International Christian good Fellowship morning. Family, and friends, welcome, welcome, welcome. It is so good to have you on this morning. Yes, it is a privilege and an honor to serve you this morning, amen. amen. Do you know what? We woke up with God on our minds and you on our minds second, amen. amen. Hallelujah. <laughs> amen. Praise the Lord. Good morning, good morning. It's always good to wake up and, and wake up to such a blessed, blessed yes, day. Yes, You know, uh, uh, every now and then. When, um, it's because it's, it's been so hot, you all, that, whew, it's been hard, but I tell you. What am I doing? I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> We're hooking but, up the microphones. <laughs> yes. Second. Amen. Amen. You go ahead and I'll try to do this and I promise I won't tear so it. So we, all right. So we honor the Holy Spirit this morning. Yes. Amen. We, give all, we give him all glory. We give him all honor. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Just and don't worry about it today. As always, we. <laughs> This morning, we're glad to be here. I hope you all are glad to be here Hallelujah. this morning because I was truly glad when they said unto me, Let us go into the house of the Lord, amen. And so, your house is part of the house of the Lord this morning, amen. My house is a part of the house of the Lord this morning. Hallelujah. Wherever we are as the kingdom of God is where the house of the Lord yes, is. Amen. 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 Somebody give God a hand praise Ooh, for that because there's nothing like having the presence of the Holy Spirit dwelling amen. in your house. Amen. amen. Hallelujah. And let me tell y'all this morning, we got good news today because the devil is defeated. No matter what it looked like, the <laughs> devil is defeated. God is exalted and Jesus is still Lord. Oh, hallelujah. hallelujah. Bless the name of the Lord. So hear me. The devil is defeated, y'all. Come on, somebody say that with me. The, the devil, devil is, is defeated. defeated. So no matter, no matter what it looks like, he is defeated. Yes, oh, hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. We give him praise this morning because there is nobody like our God. There is nobody like our God. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. He, we do exalt him no come matter on, what on, it on. looks like. We shall exalt Woo. him no matter what oh, we're going hallelujah. through. We shall give him all yes, praise hallelujah. no matter what we're going through. Come oh, on, hallelujah. hallelujah. Glory, 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 glory to glory, God. Glory. Come on, give yeah. God a hand praise for that. Oh, bless the name Hallelujah. of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm not going to keep y'all long. We're just going to go ahead and go right yes. on into Hallelujah. prayer because Pastor Rita has a word that's <laughs> straight from the throne room this morning. So we don't want to wait. Oh, hallelujah. Yes. If each and every one of you would bow your heads with me this morning hallelujah. so that we can give God all the reverence this yes. morning. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you this hallelujah. morning. Father, we praise you this well, morning. Father, we exalt Father. your name this morning. Mm. Oh, hallelujah. Well, Lord, we thank you for what you're going to do this morning yes, in the Lord. name of Jesus. Oh, God, we magnify your great and holy name, and we invite your holy presence yes, in this place yes, on this morning, oh, God. Yes, and as we humble and bow our hearts unto you this morning, oh, God, allow your Shekinah glory not only in our house, but in each and every individual, Lord God, that is looking on this morning. Allow your Shekinah glory to fall afresh upon them this morning, oh, God. As we enter into your very presence, oh God, give us kingdom wisdom, oh God, kingdom knowledge, oh God, in the name of Jesus, that we come to understand your ways, oh God, like never before. Endow us with your spirit, oh God, and fill us, Lord God, with your power, that you be glorified, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Magnify your voice, oh God, through yes, Pastor Rita this morning, oh God, and reveal to us through or the unknown, oh God, like never before. Father, draw souls, Lord God, from the east, the west, the 
north and the south to your mighty kingdom this morning in the mighty name of Jesus. Build us up, oh God, in the spirit realm. Take us to places, oh God, that we've never experienced in you before. Oh, hallelujah. And uh, Father, we ask now if you all could just point your hands toward Pastor Rita this morning. We ask, oh God, that you touch her this morning, oh God. Anoint her afresh, oh God, this morning as she comes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Cause change, oh God, in the atmosphere. Use her as a mighty vessel that she is, oh God. And give her a word, Lord God, that will take your people to a new level in you. We come this morning with great expectations, oh God. Miracles, signs, and wonders fall all across this internet in the name of Jesus, Lord God. And we, as the people of God, shall forever give you all the praise, all the glory, and all the honor. In the mighty, majestic name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus the Christ. And let the church say amen, and amen, and amen. Oh, glory to God. Hallelujah.
faith zone. Living in the faith zone. I, I, I spoke Amen. last week, remember? I spoke last week and I said that, you know what? And it just popped out of my mouth to do a faith series. Amen? Amen. So this series is called Faith Explosion. Amen? Yes. And we're going we're gonna to dig into faith because we need the people of God to go from mm -hmm. glory to glory to glory. Yes. But you can't go without faith. Amen? Amen? So I want you to stay tuned. Make sure you got your coffee, your Bible, your pen. Amen? Go back and look at this over and over and over again because what I want to tell you is, and you know this already because you've heard it before, faith come by here and hearing the word of God. Amen. Every time you hear the preached word of God. Amen. Every time you open up your Bible, faith is being yes. released. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory, Glory. to God. Well, I'm going to move on out of the way because this word is what yes. we need this morning. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank Glory. you, Jesus. Glory. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. I am excited here this morning. Amen. Hallelujah. I got to make sure I'm in the middle, right? <laughs> Amen. So good to be here. Yes. This morning, um, ICF uh, International Christian Fellowship and, and, and friends and family that uh, just tuned in this morning. Amen. Um, we got a phone call this morning. One of our members, uh, one of our members ha has been uh, rushed to the hospital this morning um, by ambulance and you know, me and Kim is so, me and Pastor Kimberly is so radical in the spirit, amen. We just began to, to, to lay it down for him. So right now, in the name of Jesus, family, uh, ICF family, if you just want to join in with me um, uh, to lift up our member, our brother, amen, uh, 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 in Christ, amen, and just bow your head with me, amen. Father, in the name of Jesus, we lift up our brother to you right now in the name in of the Jesus, name and of we bind the spirit of wickedness that's coming up against him in the name yes. of Jesus. Hallelujah. Satan, we rebuke you now. Yes. We bind right now. you right Amen. now in the Amen. name of Jesus. We bind every tactic and plan that you have against yes. this man of God. Yes. You are illegally trespassing yes. up against this man of God right now. So we cancel every plot and plan that you have and we speak and declare that by the stripes of Jesus Christ, he is healed yes. from the crown of his head to the the soles of his very feet in Jesus mighty name. Hallelujah. And so we call it the body of Christ. We call it done. Yes. It's done. Mm -hmm. We don't have to worry about it no more. Amen. Mm -hmm. Oh glory to God. You know I've been on fire you know studying faith all week so y'all just don't mind me. If I get up and run around don't y'all worry I'm coming back. <laughs> glory to God. Hmm. So, I'm going to go ahead and, and get started here. Father, we thank you and, Father, we praise you, we glorify you, Lord God. We give you praise, glory, and honor. Holy Spirit, you surely are welcome, dear. You are welcome here, Spirit of the living God, to teach your people through this earthen vessel. So, I step back that, Holy Spirit, you step forward in the name of Jesus. And I ask and I thank you, Lord God, Holy Spirit, for thinking through my mind and speaking through my mouth. In the name of Jesus, I pray, amen. Amen. So we're, we're, the title today is Living in the Faith Zone. Amen. amen. Hallelujah. So if you could please, amen, our most popular faith scripture, go to Hebrews 11 and 1. Hebrews 11 and 1. Hallelujah. Can you give me a paper towel, please? Because so, I'm going to break out in a hot flash right quick. Okay. Amen. Y'all, Some of y'all over 25 know what a hot flash is. Amen. But it says here, it says, Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Amen. So if you could, please repeat after me, repeat after me, and we're going to make a faith confession. Amen. And I think I got this one from Kenneth Copeland. Amen. You know, he's one of my... He's one of my favorite, but Apostle Alfred Craig is my favorite pastor, amen? But I listen to Kenneth Copeland um, also, amen? It says here, come on, join with me. I'm not moved by what I see. I'm not moved by what I hear. I'm not moved. 
I'm only moved by the word of God. Amen. I am the justified and I live by faith and not by sight. Amen. Hallelujah. So now let's, let's, let's talk about this. Let's talk about this. What is the faith realm? What is the faith realm? Amen. The faith realm is always now. Somebody say now. Amen. Type it in. The faith realm, the faith zone is always now. Amen. The faith realm is the spiritual realm where the true realities of life reside. The faith realm is the spiritual realm where the manifested word of God is. Everything you are believing for is in the spirit realm. Amen. Everything that we are believing for already exists. It is in the spirit realm. Amen. So if you could go in your Bibles to 2 Corinthians 4 and 18. Amen. Everything that we are believing for, God has already made it available. Come on, listen to me, y'all. Made available for us. Amen. God is not holding not, not one good thing away from us. Amen. Hallelujah. So in 2 Corinthians 4 and 18, y'all listen to this. It says, while we look not at the things which are seen, but at the things which are not seen, for the things which are seen are temporal, but the things which, which are not seen are eternal. So the things that we are believing for, amen, they are in the spirit realm, amen, and they are eternal, amen. Now listen to this. We don't determine what is made available to us by what we see. Everything we see is not, listen, this, this physical world is a limited world, but the eternal world is unlimited. Amen? Because what we see is just what we get. You got what I just said. So you might be believing God. Listen to me. You might be believing God for a new home. But where you reside at right now is all that you see. It is all that you see. But in the spirit realm, amen, God has, a, listen, God has your home with your address on it already made available for you. Amen. amen? amen. Come on, come on, y'all stay with me. So we don't determine what is available to us by what we see or what we are presently experiencing. Come on, y'all ready for that? Because we don't call, we don't put the period behind whatever situation we're going through. And then say, period, that's it, because that's not it. Amen? Whatever you are presently experiencing, amen? And if it's not lined up with God, God has just what you desire, just what he has already made available for you. So whatever you are presently experiencing right now, this, that doesn't settle it. God has and has made available to you now everything you need. Amen. And let me keep using the word now because it's not tomorrow. It's not yesterday. And it's not in a little while. It is right now. Amen. 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 But we determine what is made available to us by what is seen according to the word of God. Amen. So you're saying right now, well, you know what, Pastor, I, I'm, ha I'm having some, some problems in my finances. All right, well, you know, Jesus said, look, in the word of God, Jesus became poor that we might become rich. Amen? And you're saying, well, wait a minute, Pastor, I'm looking at my, I'm looking at my bank account on my phone, and it says I, I'm, I'm, I'm like $3 and some change. Amen? Well, I'm going to tell you this, and I don't want to get ahead of the story, amen, but I need you to start talking to that bank account. I need you to start talking to your check when it comes in and start claiming and declaring what God has already said about you, amen? amen. Honey, I know I'm getting ahead of myself because faith is one of my, my favorite subjects. It really is because I'm going to tell you something that takes faith, takes us out of experiencing the natural realm, amen, and it allows us to experience the spiritual realm. And that is amazing 
Meaning that if 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 I got a need in the natural realm, amen, I get in the word and I go into the spiritual realm and I begin to declare what God has already made available for me. So and what it does is it keep your blood pressure down. <laughs> amen. You just got to believe somebody saying, you just got to believe God. Amen. Amen. You just got to, you got to believe God. You've been going through too much for too long. And you ain't got no business going through it. Get in the word. Faith come by hearing. Hearing by the word of God. Amen. Get in the word. And get in the, listen. Get in the faith zone. And it will keep you from having high blood pressure and worries and troubles and concerns. You know, you, Listen. Don't think because I'm a pastor that oh, and my whole world is rosy. Oh, my God. But according to the word of God, it's rosy. I'm more than a conqueror. Amen. But you get what I'm saying? I, I, I have a, listen, I have a, I have a choice and how I live my life either, either, here it is. Either I live it in the world zone, in the natural zone, or I live it in the spiritual zone. Amen. I'm going to tell you this right now. Your rest is in the spiritual zone. This is where you rest at. Amen. Where you are assured. Amen. Where your total reliance, amen, is in God and God alone. This is where you rest at. It's in the spiritual realm. Amen. Meaning there's no toil. There's no worry. Amen. There's no lack. There's no defeat in the spirit realm. Amen. All right. Let's keep on going. Cause see, ooh -wee. <laughs> Amen. So listen to this. Listen to this. Listen to this. Now faith is. Now faith is. The is indicates the time factor. Let me say that again. When it, now faith is, what it does, it indicates what time it is. When it says is, is indicates the time factor, meaning it's present tense. So right now, now let me tell y'all a story. Let me, let me go off. So, you know, International Christian Fellowship, that I'm always looking for a church building. I'm always, I'm not worried about nothing else. I go out there and I spy out the land. So yesterday while I was putting this together and I was, you know, checking some things out uh, on my sermon, uh, Holy Spirit told me, um, said, I want you to go and look for a picture and put it on your screen of your um Computer, which my screen of my computer really is a 32 inch uh, uh, t television, but I made it into a screen. And the reason why I did that because I could put multiple uh, uh, documents up and, um, and nothing expensive. I think that the thing probably costs maybe just a little over a hundred dollars, nothing expensive, but anyway. So I said, okay, so I went and I, I, I googled um, uh, uh, church sanctuaries and I'm looking through all these. Uh, church sanctuaries and some of them was really nice but what I did church family and friends uh, I picked out the one that I thought everybody would like and it is the coolest sanctuary in the whole wide world state of the art and so listen I'm not worried about our bank account I'm not worried about having to fool with no bank and so what I did was I put it up there and I looked at it and I might have to, sh I'll share it on Facebook for you guys. I'll share that picture for you on Facebook. But so because faith is now, when I put it up there, I told the Lord, I said, thank you for my new church. I said, now I have the visualization of my now that every time I get to my computer and I turn it on, now appears. My church appears, our church, it comes and it just goes right before me. And it's like, oh wow, so you know what? I was sitting there and I'm looking and I am in the now and I'm imagining, right? I'm imagining coming into church 
and everybody is sitting down and some people are around talking and the band is getting together and I had this whole thing in my mind. I was in the now, amen? What I did was by faith, I visited my future. But I brought, brought my future into my now. And so that's what faith is. See, I can, listen, we can always take our mind and we can always take a current situation and stay right there. And we talk about this current situation and we talk about it the way it exists now, but you will never, ever enter into faith. God can never, ever do anything about that situation because you are always putting Listen to this word, voice to what is going on currently now. But when I got that picture, I began to speak now about what is not existing in the natural realm, but what is ex existing in the spiritual realm, and I'm calling it in the now, in the natural realm. And so that's why a lot of times, let me say this, people. Let me say this. This is a lot of times why we never get out of situations because we keep on talking about what's going on now. When God says in my word, this is what's not going on now. He's waiting on us to put voice to his word so that we can have what his word says in our now. So faith is now. Amen. Y'all got me. <laughs> so listen to this. And the spirit realm is our now. Mm. Listen, because we are recreated spirit beings. We were recreated in the image of God. Can I say this? Hold on. Let me go off for a second. Did you know that there is no other species on earth like us? Because we were recreated. Our spirit was recreated in the very image of God. There is nothing on earth like us. We are one of a kind in the image of God Almighty. Amen? In the image of God Almighty. So we live in the spirit zone. In the spirit realm. Amen? And it is now. Amen? So hallelujah. Let's keep on going. Faith is Faith is, the is, faith is, locate, locates the time. It can't be was, come on somebody, or it can't be shall be, but it has to be now. So you, you ever hear some people say, well, you know, I'm believing God and I know that one day God is going to do this for me. No, 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 because that's not faith. That's not faith. The faith is now. Amen. Um, when I think about asking God for something, I have to remember, and I go back to this, how would my father feel when I was a little girl, if I said, daddy, and cause that's how I used to say his name. I used to have this little swing to it. You know, that's when I really wanted something, you know, daddy. And my thing was, if mama told me I couldn't have money for the popsicle truck, I would go get my father, right? And he'd be out in the garage working on something. And I would say, Daddy, and he'd go, what is it, baby? What if I said to him, will you uh, someday give me some money for the ice cream truck? Or how would it sound to my father if I would have said, Daddy, can I have some ice cream for the ice cream truck, please? Thank you, Daddy. See, there's a difference in that because what I'm saying is I'm asking my father for something and I'm asking him for it in the now. Amen. But when we believe God, we can't go and listen to this. We can't believe we can't go and say, I believe that one day he will. And I think that somehow he will. No, God will. And he is willing. And we're going to go into that in a minute. OK. Amen. So just stay right there. But listen, faith is somebody say now. Go ahead and say now. Faith is now. Amen. Hallelujah. So faith is always, listen to this, present tense. It's always now. Amen. If it's, if it's not now, it's not faith. Amen. I think that my father took a, 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 a delight, the fact that his little girl would come out in the garage and ask him for 25 cents to get a popsicle. It gave him delight. And then he would pull the change out in his pocket 
And then he would say this, now baby, listen. Now all I got is this, and he would move them coins around, amen? But he would give me just what I asked for, not later, but right then and there. So that meant that when that ice cream truck came, my ice cream was now, amen? So amen, do me a favor, if you could please turn to Matthew 9, 27 through 29, amen? Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah. And let me know when you're there, amen? Oh, you're there, okay, all right. And it says here, and Jesus went on from there. Two blind men followed him, crying out, Have mercy on us, son of David. 28 says, After Jesus had entered the house, the blind men came to him. Do you believe that I'm able to do this? Hold on, can we stop right there? They came up to Jesus, and they cried out, Have mercy on us, son of David. And after they had entered the house, the blind man came to him, and Jesus said, do you believe that I'm able to do this? And this is what we got to understand, amen? Listen to this, family. Do we believe that Jesus can immediately heal our bodies? Do we believe that Jesus could immediately get us out of debt? Do we believe that Jesus could immediately deliver our loved ones? Come on, somebody. We got to believe it. Because in the word, it says it's impossible to, be it's impossible to please God if we don't believe him. Amen? Do you believe it? And this was Jesus' question to them. It's like, where is your faith? Do you believe that I can do this? Listen to this. He asked, and they said, yes, Lord. And 29 says, then he touched their eyes and said, hold on, listen to this, y'all. According to your faith, be it unto you. Now, let's stop right there. According to your faith, whatever you believe in God for right now, be it unto you. Whatever you believe in God for right now, I decree, if your faith is alive and is now, I decree and declare over your life, be it unto you as your faith is. Amen? Somebody give God a hand praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So it says here, what is already done in the spirit realm is available to all that believe. Everything that is made available to you, amen, is already done. It's in the, sp it's in the uh, uh, spirit realm, amen, and I, I'm not going to go ahead of myself because I love to go ahead of myself, but I'm not going to do it. But it says this, God is going, God is going to heal me is not faith. Y did you hear what I said? God is going to meet all of my needs, uh, 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 uh. Uh, next week is not faith. Mm -hmm. One day things are going to get better. That ain't faith. That's right. One day I'm going to be all right. That ain't faith. Mm -hmm. You get what I'm saying? That's not faith. Amen? When you say someday God is going to do it, it means he hasn't done it yet. And that's not according to the word, amen? Right. We must truly believe that God, by his divine power, has given unto us all things that pertain unto life and godliness through the knowledge of him that has called us to the glory and his virtue, amen? So let's look at this. So you might be sick in your body. You might be going through some ailment. Amen. The doctor done gave you a bad report. Now what we need to do is do this. We need to get a hold of Isaiah 53 and 5. Amen. This is faith. Okay. We can operate in faith right now. So go to Isaiah 53 and 5. Y'all ready? It says, but he was wounded for our transgressions, and he was bruised for our iniquity. The chastisement of our peace was upon him, and with his stripes we are, listen to this, present tense, in the now, healed. We are healed, not was going to be, 
Not later on or someday, but we are healed now. Jesus took upon himself, amen, our sickness, our disease, amen? And he took it upon himself so what? That we can walk in divine healing when? Now, not tomorrow, but right now, amen? So your healing has already taken place. We just have to receive it. The word of God is spirit and it is truth and that's the thing. The word of God is spirit, and you got to understand that it is truth. The, the, listen, people in the world will say that's true. Oh, yeah, that's true, that's true, but is it truth? See, there's a difference. Mm -hmm. There's a difference between truth and what is true, okay? It's true that you could be experiencing some ailments in your body, it's true that you might be having some financial difficulties. It's true. It's true that your children may be wayward, amen? But the truth is, by his stripes you are healed, that your children have been taught by the Lord, amen? That's truth. Because it'll never, ever, ever change. But what is true will change at times. See, what was true today in the world might not be true tomorrow, but this word, this word of God never changes. It never changes. I don't care what is going on in this earth realm, but the word of God never changes. God is the same yesterday, to, uh, yesterday and today and forevermore. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. So accept it, believe it, and receive it, meaning Take it. Take it according to the word of God. Whatever you believe in God for, take his word. Receive it unto yourself. Amen? Listen, 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 listen. We talk about everything else. We talk about everything else. Everything else. But we need to start talking about what God is saying. Mm -hmm. Amen? Amen. And I, I'm not going to touch on that too hard because that's another part of my of my sermon. Amen. And, and I just want to say that it's just sometimes we got to make sure what realm of the spirit are we talking in? Are we talking in line with what the enemy is saying? Or are we talking in line with what God is saying? We got to make sure what we're talking about and what realm we're talking in. Amen. Because the enemy is waiting to hear the words that come out of your mouth just as well as the Lord and his angels are waiting to hear the words that are coming out of your mouth. Amen. Y'all all right with that? Mm -hmm. And I know you still love me, right? Because I love you. Amen. Hallelujah. But we, 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 we can't have salt water and clean water coming out of the same mouth. We got to make up our mind. Amen? Amen. And I just decree and declare your mind has been made up. And today, on today, starting right now, amen, you're going to start talking faith-filled words, meaning words that are lined up according to the will of God for your situation, your current uh, situation, amen, and your health and your finances, amen. Somebody give God a hand praise. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. So listen up. Let's go down to, let's go to John. Let's go to John 6 and 63. Amen. And let's talk about the word. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Let's talk about the word. It says here, John 6 and 63. Y'all there? Amen. It says, it is the spirit that quickeneth. The flesh profits nothing. The words that I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are life, yes. meaning they are eternal. The word of God is spirit and it quickenings, meaning it, it brings life. It brings into mani manifestation of what it means. Amen. So when we begin to declare the word of God, just like God did in the beginning, well, let me go in my Bible. Y'all know this is my favorite. It's my favorite. Go to Genesis chapter one. Amen. Amen. 
The word was spoken in the beginning. The word was spoken in the beginning. Amen? Y'all just give me two seconds. Y'all get ready. I don't have this in my notes. Amen? Oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Amen. It says, let me drop, let me drop down here. It says, uh, uh, Genesis 1 and 3, and it said, and God said. <laughs> and God said. And if you go in Genesis, you'll keep seeing every time he created something, every time uh, creation was exhibited, it was because God said. Did you hear what I just said? Now, see, this is faith now. He spoke and it happened then, right now. Amen? He said, and God said, let there be light, and there was light. Amen? And God saw that the light was good, and he separated the light from the darkness. And then God called. So if he called something, that means he spoke something. And God called the light day, and the darkness he called night. Amen? So here it is. We got to start watching what we say, even what we call a thing. Because sometimes we call a thing something when it really, when we really call in a thing something when we shouldn't be calling it what it looks like today in the earth realm, but we should be calling it what God has called it in the spirit realm. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. I love it. I love it. So it says, and it is the spirit that quickeneth. The flesh profit nothing. Our flesh profits nothing. Amen? The words that I speak unto you, they are spirit. He said, the words that I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are life. Amen? So his word brings what? Life unto us. Meaning that his word, listen, it manifests. Amen? It just don't lay there and do nothing. But listen, listen. The word of God is waiting on the people of God to begin to declare the word of God so we can see the word of God. Did you hear what I just said? Come on, somebody. Mm -hmm. Amen and amen. Mm -hmm. Waiting on us to open up our mouths and declare the word of God. Amen. So faith is not intellectual. Not nothing intellectual about it, amen? Faith passes by the mind of our reasoning and our five senses, meaning our sight, our touch, our hearing, our taste, and our smell, and connects to the spirit realm and brings back what you believe in for into the natural realm, amen? Amen. It has nothing to do with our five senses. Faith has nothing to do with what you see, what you hear, what you feel, what you taste, amen? Mm -hmm. None of that has nothing to do with that. Mm -hmm. It passes by, it, listen, faith even passes by your intellectual. Because a lot of things that we're believing for in the natural realm, people would think we were crazy. The, 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 the church that I got on my, uh, uh, on my screen People would think that little, that little old lady, she done lost her mind. No, I ain't lost my mind. I just found my mind. Mm -hmm. Come on. Now. Because I have faith. Amen? God said in his word that he has gave, given me all things pertaining to life and godliness. Amen? Mm -hmm. So is that a thing? Mm -hmm. That's a thing. That's it. It's mine. Listen, ICF, it's ours. It's ours. And I'm going to tell you, listen, I ain't going to stop looking until I, until I walk up on it. I'm not going to stop confessing it until I walk through it. Y'all get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. So listen to this. Our five senses allow us to understand and perceive the natural world around us. The word of God allows us to understand and perceive the spirit realm. Future tense is not faith, and your faith won't work according to tomorrow. Faith is now. Faith ain't working on tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Faith ain't working on till you get paid again. Faith ain't working on that. Mm -hmm. Come on now. Amen? Faith can never be tomorrow. It has to be now. Amen? Go to Hebrews 11 and 1 one more time. And let's look at that word substance. Amen? Let's look at that word. Amen? 
And um, I think I'm going to stop after I get finished with this part. We're going to stop right here. Amen. Hallelujah. Somebody give God a hand praise. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Did y'all know I, 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 I love faith. I love faith. I'm going to tell you this right now. Pastor Kimberly and myself would not be where we are. You right now would not be where you are right now if it had not been for faith. Yes. Amen. Amen. It was by faith that we got saved. Yes. Amen. It was by faith we received the, the baptism of the Holy Ghost Amen. with the evidence of speaking in tongues. It was by faith. Yes. Y'all got that? So I'm telling you, this faith vehicle can cause us to go into places and receive the, listen, the unbelievable. Mm -hmm. right. <laughs> we can go someplace and people in the world and say, how did you get there? How did you get that? And you just smile and say, you know what? God is faithful. <laughs> but it's by faith. Yeah. It's by faith. Listen, uh, what was we talking about one day? We were talking about something. Was we talking about traveling all over the world? Where was we talking? Oh, no. Pastor Kimberly put this together. That's what it was. Pastor Kimberly made this, this, this little flyer thing, and she sent it to me. And some of you know that um, I've been making this confession about us uh, 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 ministering and preaching the gospel in stadiums. So Kim put this little thing together, and both of us was in the stadium. And we were preaching the gospel. Now, so, so what, what we're doing is we're saying now we are preaching in the, in, in the stadiums. We're preaching to a, a massive amount of people. And so some people might roll past me just right now and say, that lady said, what? And she online? Yes, I am. But I believe God now. I don't believe him tomorrow. I believe him now. I believe that God will give us the voice that will reach nations. I believe it. I receive it. I take it as my own. Amen. And so this is where we're trying to go. Amen. God has got some great things in store for you. God got so many great things in store for you. But listen, it's this faith message that's going to get you stirred up. You're going to start proclaiming. You're going to start confessing some things according to the word of God. Amen. And you're going to call it forth now. And you're going to receive it now. Amen. Amen. Oh, good graces of life. Let's go to Hebrews 11 and 1. It said, now faith is the substance of things hoped for. The evidence of things not seen. Now, I want to talk to you about evidence. And I'm going to go back. And I'm not going to stay on evidence long. But evidence means proof. See, where I worked at before, we can have evidence that somebody might have done something and that evidence was tangible. Either we looked at it on a video, we had evidence, or either we found it somewhere in their possession, on their possession, it was evidence, it was proof, amen? Without, listen to me, without a shadow of doubt, okay? So hold on to that for me, okay? But it says, now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Now listen to this. The faith room is not just high hopes and dreams. It's not. It is the substance of things, listen to this, physical things hoped for, amen? Mm -hmm. Everything you need is in, is in the faith room. God said, I shall, amen, present tense and in the future, meaning God has put a command on it. Listen to this. God said, I will supply all your needs according to his riches and glory by Christ Jesus. Amen. He's talking about present tense. This is substance, amen, meaning God has put a command on it. And it's the substance. It's, oh, my God. Don't let me get ahead of myself. So it says here, let's look at another translation. Faith gives substance to things hoped for. Let's look at that. Substance is tangibility. It is something my senses can relate to. Substance gives you the basis and foundation that what you are hoping for exists. Amen? Substance is real, not imaginary. Therefore, you can stand on it with its foundation placed under you, and it will support you. 
the substance. Amen? Three, it says, the faith realm makes the things you are believing for appear. The word of God is spirit, and when we receive the word in our heart, we then receive what we are believing for in the natural. Somebody say substance, amen, is tangible. Mm -hmm. Amen? The substance, amen? So what we're going to do, we're going we're gonna to stop right here um, according to that clock, amen? If you could, please remember we stopped at substance, amen? I just want to thank everybody for, for getting on right now today. What has happened as I have been ministering the word, faith started coming to you. Amen. Faith was coming to you. And so what I've been praying for all of you is that you get stirred up in the spirit, amen? Where you start digging in the word, amen? So continuous faith will come unto you. Amen. Um, I, I, I tell you a lot, Pastor Kimberly and myself, we listen to a lot of different teaching. And the reason why we do it is so that faith will continue to come. Amen. Um, we could listen. We could not listen to the word of God, but faith is going to come somewhere. Somehow we can listen to the news and continue to hear the news over and over again and over and over again. There's nothing wrong with looking at the news. I glance at it, but I don't look at it too long because faith comes by words. Yeah. Amen? And amen? And hearing those words. Mm -hmm. So everything, amen, can I say this, family? Everything we ain't got no business listening to. So, you know, we got a lot of negativity that is going on in the world right now. We got some wonderful things that is going on in the world also. Amen. But a lot of negativity. See, I don't want those words in my spirit. Amen. So, you know, we, 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 we narrow down and make sure that the majority of our life is, listen, filled with the word of God because faith come by hearing and hearing the word of God. Every time you get on Sunday and you hear the word, faith is coming. Every time you get on on Wednesday, the, the word is being preached and faith is coming unto you. Amen. The thing is, once it come, you got to receive it. Somebody say, once faith come, you got to receive it and take possession of it as yours. Not that it's going to be or it's for somebody else, but it is for you. It is yours. Amen. So many of you are believing God for a whole lot of different things. And I decree and declare in the name of Jesus that you receive it now in Jesus' name. Amen. So you just got to go ahead and say, I receive it now. Whatever you believe in God for. Amen. Hallelujah. Many of you are believing for family members for their salvation. I call them forth now that they are saved now, that they are taught by the Lord, that they are filled with the Holy Ghost. Amen. And then listen, living and loving life in God Almighty. Amen. Right now. Amen. And so when we speak of those people, we call them healed and we call them delivered. Amen. Remember when I said that God called light, God called light good. Amen. He called something, meaning he gave it a name. Yes. And so what we call things and we give it a name is what it shall be. Amen. But if we call it as God calls it, is what it shall be. Amen. So we call our loved ones saved. We call our loved ones, listen, filled with the Holy Ghost. We call them that and that's what they shall be. You got to remember this. Come on, y'all listen to me when I say this. God told Adam to go ahead and call all the names, to name all the animals. And what he was saying, whatever you call them, that's what they shall be. Whatever you name them, whatever you speak out of your mouth, that's what they shall be. Amen. So listen, everybody, I want you to be encouraged. Amen. Continue to, to stay in your word, to stay in prayer. Continue whatever you believe in God for. Continue speaking it out of your mouth. We're going to stay on this faith thing. Amen. We're going to believe God together for some impossible things. Amen. And we're going to watch God bring them to pass. Amen. Even now in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. So if any of you are on right now and you have not received Jesus Christ as your Lord and, uh, Lord and Savior. Amen. And 
I want to let you know this too is done by faith. Amen. That Jesus, he, he died on the cross for all of your sins. Amen. Every last one, present, past, and future. Amen. It was nothing that you could have done that was too, too, too much for God. Amen. Hallelujah. You know, some people think that I can't come to God because I've just done too much wicked, bad stuff. But I'm going to tell you something right now. God, Jesus took upon all your sins, not some of them, all of them. Amen. And so if you have not received Jesus Christ as your Lord and, uh, Lord and personal Savior and you want to come and get your right, your life right. Amen. Before God. Amen. I want to tell you right now, this is the time now. Amen. For your, your day of salvation is right now. So if you want to uh, just enter in with me right now in prayer, amen, right now by faith as you uh, pray along with me and declare out of your mouth, amen, you will enter into the kingdom of God, amen, and the blood of Jesus will wash away all of your sins, not some of your sins, but every last one of them, and I decree and declare in the name of Jesus a supernatural transformation in Jesus' name. So come, just come on in and pray with me, uh, amen. Father, we thank you, and we praise you, and Lord, I ask you to forgive me of all of my sins. Yeah. I believe that you, Lord Jesus, is the Son of God, mm -hmm. and that you died on the cross for all of my sins. I believe that you rose from the grave yes. and that you're sitting at the right hand of the Father. Mm -hmm. And so I ask you, Lord Jesus, to come into my life that I may be born again, mm -hmm. that all of my sins will be washed away and that I would be recreated in you. In Jesus' name, I receive you Lord Jesus, by faith, and now I confess that I am born again by the Spirit of the living God, in Jesus' name. Somebody come on and give God a hand praise, amen, hallelujah, so you might be backslidden. And you know what, when it comes to backslidden, sometimes people will come up to the altar and they they backslidden, amen. And their heart has been touched, amen, emotionally. But I want to say right now, we're not going to deal with no emotions because emotions, they come and go. But let's just go ahead and come on up to the altar on the sheer, on the, on the, on the sheer fact that God is waiting and ready to deliver you now from your backslidden condition. No emotions involved. Mm -hmm. Just come by faith mm -hmm. and pray this prayer with me. Come by faith, mm -hmm. not by emotion. Mm -hmm. Amen. Hallelujah. Father, in the name of Jesus, I have fallen away and I have done some things and I asked you to forgive me. I asked you, Lord Jesus, to empower me to stand. I've tried all I could try, and nothing worked. But I asked that you would pour out your spirit on me and turn my heart back to you. I give my life to you. I commit my life to you. Now, in the name of Jesus, I receive forgiveness of all of my sin. And I thank you that they shall never be remembered again. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, that's what I'm talking about right there. Amen. By faith, not by emotions. Amen. It's by faith. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Well, I tell you this, family. 
It has been an extraordinary, powerful, most glorious day that we spent with you today, amen? And I am so excited, amen? Um, please, let's continue to keep our brother uh, lifted up in prayer, amen? I'm expecting to hear a glorious report, amen, from the family members. Uh, of uh, of our brother who uh, was taken to the hospital um, by ambulance. I'm expecting to hear a great report, amen, from the family members because I believe, and you believe, I want you to hear me, believe that God moves miraculously when we begin to pray, amen? Hallelujah, because we pray what? In faith. Amen? Not by what we see, not by what we hear, but according to the word of God. The angels in heaven, they hearken unto the voice of the Lord, uh, the voice of those who declare the word of God. Amen? So it is now time for our tithes and offering. Amen? Um, I'm quite sure that Pastor Kimberly has began to put them up. Amen? And she is smiling over there. I think she forgot, but I tell you what, I bet you one thing, this, I bet you she did a good job directing this today, amen? Pastor Kimberly is the bomb when it comes to this. Y'all know I'd be messing up stuff. Oh, I'll mess it up in a minute, but you know what? Give me a screwdriver. I'll put some stuff together for you, amen? But Pastor Kimberly is so very good with this. Um, You know what? You guys put your hands together for her because, amen, she does a wonderful job doing this, amen? So, um, if you could please go ahead and get your, your tithe and your offering together, amen. Um, uh, you can either use the Cash App, you can use PayPal. Uh, you can also go on our website. Um, uh, I don't know if Pastor Kim put anything up, but we need to start promoting our website a little bit more, and I think we will. Thank you so much, Holy Spirit. I think we will start promoting our website because if you just so happen... To miss a service, I mean, you could go on, um, excuse me, Facebook on our International Christian Fellowship page, but you can also go on our website, and so uh, you can also do that, um, and I think Kim, Pastor Kimberly is still, she's doing some stuff like this, so God is good, amen, and so I just want to thank each and every one of you for your faithfulness. Uh, first of all, your faithfulness to God, no matter what you might be currently going through. Amen. I want to thank God for your faithfulness. And because of your faithfulness, I speak the blessings of the Lord upon your life because of your faithfulness to God. Not to man, but to God. Amen. So, I'm going to pray over your offering in the name of Jesus, amen. So y'all see, I didn't go to 2 Corinthians and I didn't go to Malachi, amen, um, because we want to make sure uh, my pastor is on teaching right now. So um, if you want to uh, go on over to uh, Facebook and go over to uh, I Am Church uh, Las Vegas um, and let's support uh, Apostle Alfred Craig Sr., amen, um, what we can do is uh, once we shut down, we'll uh, have Denisha um, put a text out to everybody so we can support the man of God. Amen. Because that's my man of God and Dr. Bev is my woman of God. Amen. And I will support them. Amen. So um, we can go on and go on there. Amen. So right now I'm going to pray over the offering. Father, in the name of Jesus. I ask that you would bless those who have given unto the, today, Lord God. I ask that, Lord God, that every need that they have, Lord God, is met according to your riches and glory by Christ Jesus. Father, I thank you that there is no lack in their family, Lord God, no lack in their lives, Lord God, in the name of Jesus, Lord God. I call them debt-free right now in the name of Jesus, Father. So, Lord Jesus, I thank you that you have offered up as high priests have off, has offered up their offerings and their tithes unto the Father. I thank you that, Lord God, that their offering and tithes are acceptable unto you in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord God. So I thank you and I praise you in Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen. So, family, we're going to um, go ahead and we're going to um, shut down. Um, don't forget Monday, ladies, Zoom. Oh, my goodness. We had a wonderful Zoom meeting um, Monday. Again, I'm telling you, 
You, you ladies, if you're not clicking on, you know, we got people from all over. That lady was from, was she from Texas? Where was she from? I don't know. Um, she was out of state from somewhere. We, we, I don't know. But it was an honor and a privilege to see her on um, Florida, Florida. Florida. She was from Florida. And so we're getting people from all over that is, is, that is coming in. Um, uh, listen. Ladies, come on in and, and give up your Mondays. And, you know, from what I'm hearing is people don't want to get on Zoom because it has been hacked. But I'm going to tell you this. You know what? My Facebook has been hacked so many times. I ain't got off of Facebook. I waited till they fixed it. Amen. <laughs> so, you know, don't let nothing keep you from being with God's people. Don't let no excuses. Get on. Amen. We're only on for an hour. We laugh, we talk, we pray, we cry. We, we, if, we could hug, if we were together in physical, we would hug each other, amen? Mm -hmm. So, you know, just come on on because we love you so very much. And, and what you have to share in this a small body of believers is very instrumental to somebody else's life. Because, see, when you get on, it ain't about you, but it's about the ones that, that's going to be listening to you, amen? So get on and, and share some hope and share some strength and share some love, amen? Wednesday night Bible study. Now, y'all know the preacher of all preachers is going to be on Wednesday. Amen. So, you know what? Make sure that you are on at 7 p.m. on Wednesday. Pastor Kimberly is going to, you know she's going to preach the house down. Y'all know she's going to preach the house. She do it every Wednesday. Yeah, she do it every Wednesday. Preach the house down. So, y'all get on and amen. Get ready to receive a word from God because God always have a right now word for Pastor Kimberly to deliver unto you. So amen. God bless you. We love you. And I'm going to pray us out. Father, in the name of Jesus, those that are listening to my voice right now, Lord God, I ask that you would continue to pour out your spirit on their lives in the mighty name of Jesus. The Lord, you set them ablaze, Lord God. And that, Lord God, I bind the enemy that may be coming up against their lives right now. I bind them right now in the name of Jesus, Lord God. So, Father, I pray in the name of Jesus that, Lord God, that they continue. Lord God, you continue to, to, be, to saturate them, Lord God. Can continue to allow no weapon formed against them to prosper in the name of Jesus. Until we meet again, Lord God, let your blessings, Lord God, shower upon them in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Family, we love you. We love you, and God bless you, and we'll see you soon. We're going to, uh, don't forget, we're going to Apostle Alfred Craig Sr.'s Facebook page, and we're going to find him live so we can enter into his service. I need everybody to follow me there, amen? Your pastor just spoke. <laughs> I need everybody to follow me there. Amen. Uh, we'll send a text out. Okay. God bless you. We'll, we'll see you. We'll share. We'll, we'll share the page. Pastor Kimberly, so technology. We will share the page. Okay. But I need everybody. Please just take out a half an hour to support our apostle. Amen. God bless you. We'll see you soon.